This better be quick because Michelle thinks I'm on the loop. Miss Lister's had to bring meeting forward. I'm sorry. Well, when too? Because tomorrow's a nightmare for me, so be warned. No, it's today, dinner time. So what about five? No, um, lunchtime, dinner time, quarter past one. Oh, brilliant. Right in the middle of my shift with Michelle. I'm sorry. As soon as court case is over, we can get on with the rest of his lives. You never have to see my ugly mug again. Except when you're at work. Or when I need a taxi. Mind you, I usually get buses, so you, you probably won't even notice I'm here. Morning. I walked to an empty bed. Just needed some air before the street got even more polluted. <laughs> For a fleeting moment, I fancied I'd dreamt your return. Then I turned and saw your after son on the bedside cabinet. <laughs> Are you... Is everything... I felt like I couldn't breathe. I'll be the jet like I'll, uh... I'll, I'll... I'll come in now. I'll look on the internet, find a remedy. Olaf said this would happen. Oh, uh, a team leader? Yeah. Madam. Oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> ah. Hiya. Good morning. morning. It's a funny time to go courting. My body clock's cock a hoop. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot to give you a present yesterday. Just let me run upstairs and get it now. A present? For me? Where'd you go? Milk ran out. Hmm. What do you mean? There's loads of milk in here. OK, so sometimes I get things wrong, so sue me. Graham, what are you doing? You scared the living daylights out of me, then. Been out the bat for a thing. What's up with you? We can't blame him for being a bit jumpy. Oh, you changed your tune. Well, I couldn't sleep last night, could I? Neither could I. Why was keeping you awake? My stolen wheels. <sighs> my mum's mate came back off for holiday, now she's reported it missing. We have got to get rid. I know, bored. <sighs> you? Um, Weatherfield's answer to the Sopranos coming after us. It's finally dawned on me. We might have been a bit barmy. How many bags does your mum need? We're only going for a weekend. Yeah, she needs one big bag for her fascinating personality. Can I have a word, Joe? Something wrong? No, no, everything's sweet as a nut. Back it then, that. What's that? My holiday outfit. Well, where are you going? 1963. <laughs> David, the day I start taking fashion advice off you is the day I know I've officially lost it. I do not want to look like an emu. It's emo. And I don't. But you do look like an emu. Anyway, it's only 50 quid, all right? So just take her out for a meal or something. You know I, mean? I can't take this off you. Everything all right? Yeah, so whenever you want to get changed and get ready, we can get going. <laughs> Do you, I just wish one day I could walk down those stairs and everybody would go, Wow, Gail, you look amazing! I'm only joking. <laughs> you forget, Mum, there's nothing wrong with our eyesight. <laughs> wow, Gail, you look amazing. Go, Joe. Come on, sexy. Let's get these things in the car. Uh, I thought we'd get a taxi to the station, so paying for a car park. Oh, you cheapskate. Get on that phone. Right, can we get a few ground rules here, please? One, no bum slapping. That is seriously sick. Yeah, yeah. And two, don't ever, ever call her sexy, all right? Get dialing now, hot lips. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you really go? <laughs> oh. Do you know, love, you haven't changed a bit. Well, look, apart from shoes. Oh, okay, they're, they're really comfy. Mmm, <laughs> look it. Here you go. So what is this for me? Yeah. I thought you were joking. Oh. oh, Roy, would you look at that? She's bought me a present. Can you believe it? I so it would appear. <laughs> No-one's ever brought me out back from the rolls. <laughs> well, nothing I had to go to a clinic to get rid of. <gasps> Roy, would you look at that? She bought me a scarf. Oh, no, it's a capulama. A what? A capulama. You're joking. Roy, she bought me a capulama. Right, so what do I do with it? Come here. Oh. You just put it around your waist like this. Ooh, cool. <laughs> <gasps> Hayley, I love it! 
Hey, and it'll do up nicely as a picnic blanket. Do you go on many picnics? Well, I will now. <laughs> Emily Bishop speaking. Oh, oh just one moment. Uh, who shall I say is calling? <laughs> right you are. Norris, phone. Who is it? It's um, Janie Lee Rowland from Pimpernel PR. Oh, my good garden gnome, it's them. Who? But the organisers of the Cliff Richard competition. Ah, uh, how, Emily, I've only gotten them one. Oh, will you be meeting him? He's a great ambassador for Christianity. You don't say, give me the phone. Uh, uh, hello? Yeah, m Mrs Rowland? It... Yes, yes, this is Norris Cole speaking. How, how are you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Uh. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hi. Well, uh, well, 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 thank you for ringing. Uh, goodbye. Will you be doing dinner? No. Cliff and I will not be doing dinner, tea or Holy Communion because I did not win. No. Came second. So I get a special CD of his greatest hits. Well, that won't take long to listen to. Well, I wonder who won first prize. Somebody called Mary Taylor. Look, I, I've heard that name before. It rings a bell, anyway. Maybe she's a devil woman. Why do you say that? It was a joke. Well, it's not funny. Where are you going? Hospital visiting. Maybe I should take them some mistletoe and wine? When did you turn into Fanny Bryce? <laughs> See you later. Bachelor boy. So, what happened last night? Dad, your girlfriend will think something's wrong if you don't get in that taxi at like now. I know something's going on. No. We're just slightly knocked sick by the thought of you and her getting it on. She's a wonderful woman. She's not. You do realise that if you two get married, I'll be going out with my own brother. Ugh. How sick is that? You don't half overreact, Tina. Now drop it. I really like Gail. We've both had quite miserable times of late. Can't we just have some fun, or do we not deserve that? The tax is going to be dead expensive if you don't get a move on. I don't interfere in your relationships. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, go if you're going, unless you're not going. I don't know how you put up with it, David. Well, I could say it's same to you. You could, but my name's not David. See you next week. Bye. Bye, then. Weird, isn't it? Mm. What are you doing? Well, I'm having my conjugal rights. Not at this hour of the day, you're not. You all right? Hey! Who's rattled your cage? Just have me dad on the phone. Oh, yeah, well, he is annoying. I will willing to give it a proper go, that kebab shop. What's he said now? He's selling it to death. Can you believe that? I could kill that dev. There's me showing him out facts and figures and numbers, trying to prove that I can run a business. And he just nicked it all from me to buy it. He used me. You're joking. No. And that's not all. My dad's putting this place on market. What? Oh, she's a beauty. But like all the birds in my life, I'm going to have to give her the kiss off. This one's slightly more attractive than most birds in your life, isn't she? My Hot Wheel baby. It's time to say goodbye. You're making me feel a little bit dirty. But how? Well, with your speaking... No, it then. means, how is he going to get rid of it? Oh. Being good. Full house. Oh, didn't I say? Steve, you know you didn't say, or else you'd have had a memory of it. I just sun it and nothing at the brewery. What, you didn't think to tell me? Well, the sooner I get there, the sooner I can get back for the lunchtime rush. Mm. Are you seeing that bloke that spits when he talks? <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to take an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
babe, what you doing? Roy told me about this on his emails. His encounter with the bats. Oh, God, let's not go there again. But, you know, you turn your back for five minutes, well, a year, and everything changes, yet everything stays the same. I know. It's like, I'm the same person, but I've got a new look. I've got a little bit Amy of a night. What do you think? I think that when you've spent a year building a school and helping out at an orphanage and when you've held a dying child in your arms and you've subsisted for three days on nothing but a bit of rice because provisions were late, you soon realise just how important looks and makeup are. Is it doing your head in beating back? My mother always used to say, the problem with you is, grass is always greener. And it is, of course it is. I mean, where's the grass round here? You mate Dodgy Rodge could sort you out with some. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hayley. Did you miss me, Becky? Hayley, how can you even say that? Because I often thought what sort of a hole I'd left behind. Plonker, an early shaped one. We're just great specks and nothing on the surface of the earth, ready to blow away at any minute. I mean, Who's going to miss a great speck of nothing? Excuse me. Get a cropper. Bye then, yeah, see you then. Bye, bye. Oh, and th that was Tilly. Yeah, look, I, I, I've been on the web. Apparently, St John's wort is a very good herbal remedy for jet lag. Oh, I thought they used that for depression. Anyway, I thought it'd be easier to get hold of than that Siberian ginseng. <laughs> well, if I bobbed on a plane to Siberia, that'd definitely cancel out my jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yeah, very good. Yeah, anyway, I, I interrupted Tilly. Oh, yeah, yeah, she did take me back by mistake. I knew oh. she had. She's a tad on the scatty side. Um, so she's going to come over and drop it off. She says her mum's already driving her up the wall and... Uh, Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm warbling. Uh, wittering. Oh, yeah, warbling singing. Uh, but, but you witter wonderfully. All right, it really is lovely to see your face again. I feel really giddy. Yeah. Well, I expect you, you shared a, a lot with uh, Tilly. Better put a brush through me, eh? Oh, have you given any thought as to when you might restart at the factory? No. I'm going to have to get rid of it. It's been playing on my mind like typhoid. But how do I get rid of my Hot Wheels? Graham, what? would you stop talking like you're on a 70s cop show and get real, please? <laughs> well, I don't know what to do. Burn it out. Set fire to my Hot Wheels baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am well liking the sound of that. There you go. Hiya, Michelle. Pint of hard stuff, please. What, orange juice? Exactly. Yeah. A towel, if you've got one. A towel? Watch that guy in the back of me, Gab. The one from your brewery. Gobs everywhere when he speaks. I feel like I've had a shower. Oh, he's minging him, isn't he? Yeah, I'll have some of these. Were you taking him to the brewery? Steve's got a meeting with him there right now. No, I was taking him from the golf course to the brewery. Didn't really like Steve had a meeting with him. Yeah. What's that about? I don't know, he didn't say. Do you want ice in your orange juice? Go oh, on, live dangerously. Steve does. I didn't. I don't believe you. Oh, tell him she didn't. Like you'd know. Well, if she did know, she didn't tell me, all right. And as we tell each other everything, I don't see how you're making any sense. If I knew my dad was buying this place, Daryl, do you not think I would have told you? I don't know how your mind works, do I? Hey, stop having a go at her. Will you shut up? <sighs> did you hear that? Look, I'm just a bit act off, all right? Because if I don't have a job, it's over between you and me, right? Because I'm going to have to move to Spain and work for me dad. So will you just get that into your thick skull? Will you stop shouting at me? Just stop shouting at me! Well, it was your idea to get your dad to go look over books for me. Spain, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know your sort, love. First sign of trouble and you run. Get a life, Daryl. And a backbone. Oh, yeah. And a new girlfriend. Oh. Your love is my only desire We like my fire Cause I need your love Yes, mate. What can I get you? 
I want to butch. I want to do butchings. I want to be a butcher. All oh, right, you've come out of the job. Look upon me as your saviour. Well, have you had an experience? Uh, well, I recently worked in a very large kitchen in a very large establishment. And have you, um, have you used knives? Oh, yeah, lots. Right, well, um... Look, I'll do two weeks with no pay, and I'm a grafter. And I don't see anyone else walking through that door. Must look very strange. Like I went to Walls and now I'm back in Kansas. I found that film very alarming as a child. Monkeys with wings. Right, I need to speak with you. Well, sh shall we set up shop on the couch? Great. Why does this feel slightly ominous? Sadly, yes. Well, uh, if I remember rightly, and, and forgive me for prying, but weren't you thrown out of your house? I was indeed, but take heart. The council have found me a place in uh, Momal Heights. Oh. Aren't they due for demolition? Well, wasn't there a case of... Um... Asbestosis, yes. But uh, still, they tell me that the, uh, the lifts are always uh, never going, you know, so I'll get plenty of exercise going up and down. And I've, I've lived in worse places. Well, I haven't really. Oh, Mr. Stone, that's terrible. Yeah, it's life, Mrs. Bishop. Mm -hmm. Well, you rather hope that at our time of life, things will have sorted out a bit. Yeah, well, if things don't get any worse, this is rock bottom. Um, you're going to think that this, this is a bit, a bit, um... Well, would you consider moving in with me. I've got a spare front room, only temporary. Sorry? On Coronation Street. Oh, oh no, 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 I couldn't, Mrs Bishop. Uh, it's Emily, now that we're living together. Are you sure you're all right, Mrs Bishop? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. Matthew. Chapter 7, verse 12. Yeah. Hey, look, um, honestly, I, I, I wasn't dropping hints. Oh, I know you weren't. You know, it might be nice to see me old haunts again. You know, it'd be good. Uh, only uh, temporary, mind you. Yeah, um, of course. <gasps> Come on. There's a bus in 12 minutes. Who gave the jobs out? Ah, Shlee, the butcher. Who gave the jobs out? Who, 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 who gave the jobs out? See what he's got. Ah, it's like love setting fire to stuff. Who gave the jobs out? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, what do you think you're playing at? Sorry? Well, I do live here. Hey, who told you to put that up? Sorry, have I got the wrong house? It's doubtful. Honestly, you and Father usually only has two speeds. Dead slow and stop. The Spanish air must be suiting him or someone's put speed in his core mm. Jerry Morton, is this not his house? Yes, it's his house. Right, so... Right, well, put it up then. See if we care. In fact, I'm past caring, actually. Look at my face. I don't give that about you or your sign. Cover the place in signs for all I care. I'm so over it, I'm way the other side. Feisty, your bird. Ah. Oh. Do you mean Mum? Oh, right. I thought it was one of them age gap things. I thought maybe that's what got your dad acting so... I don't know. How does your mind work? Africa changed me, Roy. It's had this weird kind of effect on me and I can't really put it into words, only... All my life I've struggled to wake up in the morning and feel that everything's going to be OK. Even married to you. And they've been some of the happiest years of my life. There's been an emptiness. It's nothing about you. Please don't think that. 
But when I was over there, the emptiness went. I mean, how many people up and down this country must feel that their lives are empty? Thousands, millions. And why, I, I'm one of the lucky ones. I found something that made me happy. So, what are you saying here? Well, well what I'm saying is that I've fallen in love with the place, the, the people. Well, I love you. And I've missed you terribly. Please don't be upset when I say this. I understand but... emptiness. I felt nothing else since the moment you left. I want to go back. Oh, Hayley, how could you? At least we'll be back in half an hour.